Told you, too open. <laughs> too open. This is the opening shot for the Huskers. This is where Nebraska has to have urgency to build out to that three-point line. How about it? The triple from Damian Jefferson. Jefferson. Jefferson, just one of 15 from three on the season coming into this afternoon, but he's been talked to by his teams. Want to shoot the three. <laughs> Alexander in transition. Uh, something Fred Hoiberg was worried about was how his young team would handle the environment. And in particular, seconds of the shot clock. Alexander is sprinting and hunting in the open floor. Both these teams like to shoot it quickly as the lob. Ain't nothing, Creighton. The team in white is coming out energized. Watch the pick and roll. Where Drago, Udrago gets drug over. And you have shooters towing the arc, Vince. So see Cheatham kind of vacate up the floor. You don't want to lead the basket early to get him in the rhythm and flow. Jefferson already got one to three. Give him another. And Nebraska playing the percent. Garnison. And Cross is there. Has it knocked away. Stolen by Valak. Zagorowski on the board. That's where Zagorowski is really tough. Under control of the transition game, but they've been in this situation, the half-court game, much of the early going here today. And Nebraska is much better in an open floor situation. Alexander answers 18 to 2, and Hoiberg's got to call a timeout. The second three-pointer for Tyshawn Alexander. Four triples for the Blue Jays, and they are putting it on the rivals early. And Nebraska's committed five turnovers. They've only made two baskets. Sharif Mitchell. And now Zagorowski from the corner. Boy, is that pretty. Get a piece of the paint. An open. Deshaun Burks, but he can't get it to go down. Boy. So Nebraska's hurt themselves by missing the chip shots. Been a couple of transition opportunities right at the rim that Nebraska just hasn't been able to get to go down. Zagorowski. Got it again. Well, Nebraska needs to be more disciplined. It's too much space for a guy of his caliber. Three off the mark from Cam Mack. And the lead out for Mitchell. And a foul. Mitchell plus one. Uh, this is needing to cease the ball go down to get that confidence going for the big red. Ballack drives it and answers for the Blue Jays. You know, that's the other side of it. Talk about a basket by Paul Yarnerson's got Nebraska. Back in the groove, obviously not as another turnover. It's one thing that Nebraska's got to be careful of, and they've had some issues with it during the course of the season. The turnovers as Mitchell with a highlight. How about the freshman from right here in Omaha, Sharif Mitchell? Feeling the emotion and feeling himself with the crossover and the tough finish. It's all Blue Jays early. Take advantage of every opportunity, and Nebraska just hasn't done it. Zagorowski gets it in the paint. Oh, Zagorowski is just off to a great start. He's got... Bishop, nice bounce pass for Zagorowski. And Hoiberg's got to call another timeout. Tough position for the Nebraska coach. No answers for Creighton here at Omaha. Sometimes environments can make you not execute. Fisher in transition. Look at Coach Hoiberg. He, he can hardly believe it. Hoiberg just put his hands in the air, called another 30-second timeout. He was not happy with the way the team off, uh, executed on the offensive end or the defensive end. Well, the number one thing you have to do against Creighton is sprint back defensively. And 
for Christian Bishop to get out ahead of everybody obviously is unacceptable. And Coach Hoiberg was really upset. But that's a heck of a run and a heck of a catch and a heck of a throwdown. And finally, double figures for Nebraska, but Zagorowski comes right back, wasting no time. He changes for two and a half to play in the first half and what has been a shocking performance. Tyshawn Alexander rattles in a triple, and it just continues to roll for the Blue Jays. At a high level and just have lived in transition because they've gotten so many stops. Shot clock at five. Zagorowski's got to let it fly and does. Uh, those two guys really play well with each other. They're always looking. Final seconds here in the first half. Zagorowski gets it to the paint, can't finish it. The rebound pulled down, and that'll do it. The first half comes to an end mercifully for Nebraska. But if you're a Creighton fan, you are loving every minute of it. It has been all Blue Jays at the CHI Health Center in Omaha. Do a little bit better on this end of the floor, which will make everything easier. And then for Creighton, they're just continuing to do the same things he did in the first half. And Zagorowski doing just that, just as he did in the first half. He now has 20. Good hard take. Finally able to probe into that lane. Tight shot, Alexander. Not enough stops for transition opportunities. Jefferson looked at the three. Finds Bishop inside. Oh, what a pass. Yeah, Burke took advantage. It's the strength of this Nebraska team is the wing drivers. And Zagorowski comes right back and snug eight from the free throw line this afternoon and 56% on the season. Zagorowski unstoppable. 24. Uh, Black and white. <laughs> Tyshawn Alexander out of the timeout. Stops that 7-0 run for Nebraska. Seven from the field. Since then, 12 of 16. So they're shooting it a lot better. But during that 3-27, the game got out of hand. And the one thing you got to add, Creighton hasn't started missing yet. Uh, again, it's the better bounce offensively. Back-to-back -back threes for Nebraska. But they've got to stop Creighton on this end of the floor. They haven't been able to do it. Jefferson counts the basket. They do as Cheatham again, and he's got eight. Boy, starts to creep in a little bit here are the Huskers, but Zagorowski comes back with the answer. It's green for about and Kelvin Jones. Hurt his ankle in the Oral Roberts game on Tuesday. Had practiced all week, so Zyle getting some playing time. Zagorowski gets the roll. He's got 28 points. Marcus Zagorowski has done it all today. Grabs some rebounds and assists. And how about Sharif Mitchell with the great defensive play? The steal and the spin. Losing the defenders and finding Ballack for three. Sharif Mitchell. Defense to offense. His identity as a player is on the defensive end. Little pick of Gervais Green, some nifty ball handling, and then he knows where the shooters are. What a play from the freshman from Omaha. Gave Creighton all the breathing room it needed, at least up until this point, with under eight and a half to play. Alexander, tight shot, Alexander. He's got 17. Jefferson's injury didn't seem that serious initially, but maybe a little more complicated than first thought. And Zagorowski hits the 30 mark with that drop. Suffered the foot injury uh, against uh, Oral Roberts. Yeah, the Epperson injury was serious. The injury that we saw Kelvin Jones didn't think that it was as serious as maybe it's become a little bit more of a hand. He's in compound fracture in his leg in October. Inside for Bishop. Second chance, can't get it. Third time the charm. Bishop's the most experienced guy. We're trying to be an extension of Coach Hoiberg in the locker room, on the practice floor, and certainly on the game. Ballet in rhythm. 
Vince, Mitch Ballack does such a good job moving off of Pennington. Mitchell leaves it for Wyndham, the freshman. Jalen Wyndham. Vince, it's hard to totally switch gears and play fast and shoot a bunch of threes. Nick Zile, the freshman for Kansas City, his first two points of the season.